Hello and welcome to West Wales and if you're new here my name is Becca and about seven-ish months ago I started making YouTube videos for a bit of fun and it has been quite a lot of fun and I started off making just videos about natural dyeing and about hand spinning and knitting which is kind of um, my hobby really and uh, well not my hobby really it is my hobby and I sort of started to branch out and making vlogs and uh, just sort of little videos about the area that I live in. So this is my first weekly vlog where I've videoed something every day for the past week but I think once you get to see this actually it'll be more like eight days ago that I started filming it because uh, these things take a bit of time to edit. Anyway I'm back walking my dog in the local woodland which is kind of what I do a couple of times a day not always here but other places I put out a podcast style video on Friday which was all about the difference between natural dyeing and synthetic dyeing I've just edited a video it's a very short video about um, making yellow out of botanical plants, botanical plants, all plants are botanical, but uh, yeah, out of botanicals to get a, a really good yellow. Uh, that's only a quite a short video, so that's quite good fun. And yeah, so uh, it feels like a bit of a, a milestone to be doing this because, um, I don't know, I wasn't sure I was going to carry on at all, uh, but it seems to, seems to be going quite well and people seem to have responded quite well to the videos. And I made a just a very short vlog last week. It was only like a daily vlog, a day in the life type vlog. And people were very nice about it. And so I thought I'd do another one, but for a week. So I'll see how this goes and it might become a regular thing. It might not, we'll have to see. Anyway, I will uh, stop talking and cause I'm running out of breath cause I'm climbing up the hill. Not that you can tell that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens and I hope you enjoy what I got up to last week. It started to rain of course, so Millie and I are walking along to Fishguard Fort. Andrew's back in the car, well he's probably outside the car now with his tripod and he's taking photographs. But although in theory he can get the wheelchair along here. He actually finds that he gets better views up from the car park. But we'll stop in a minute and I'll show you the view. I mean it's a bit grey because it's raining but then you know it's spring and we live in Wales. <laughs> she's got very good recall if she saw a rabbit that went over the edge she'd be after it and uh, I'll show you in a minute have a look down here yeah don't really want her to go down there uh, it's only quite light rain it's a bit wet underfoot still so I'm gonna have to be really careful we're just going to go a bit further on. There are bits that are fenced and where they're fenced I will let the little squiggly dog off the lead but here just a little bit too dangerous. Right so we're back in the car Andrew is um, in the rain taking photographs and while he's doing that I'm just popping up the road to pick up some milk uh, normally I buy my milk in the um, garage in Goodick, but we're very near the farm so I'm just going to go up there and uh, show you the uh, 
the dairy, the local dairy, and um, we don't drink an awful lot of milk, we just put it in coffee, so I don't mind paying that little bit extra for locally produced milk. And it's a small family farm, and you know, I really do believe in supporting British farmers as much as you can, because I realise that for a lot of people that's just not going to be an option. So I'll, uh, I'll show you when we get there. Here we go, and I have one of these to return. There you go, this is the milk vending machine. So sanitize hands before use, pay coin or card. Yeah, cool, excellent, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so my milk bottle is in there, and one litre, that's, uh, do the card machine. Payment okay. Ooh, start. Okay, let's go. Press start. Oh, and it's going, cool. go and there is my litre of milk. So milk picked up, pick up Andrew, then back to fish guard, bit of shopping for the bacon and then this afternoon's job is make the bacon. Hello, so what day is it today? It's Wednesday and I've got the most awful hay fever. Uh, I get tree pollen hay fever. So although I'm covered, cover, I'm not covered, the area is covered in gorse. That doesn't really affect me, it's, it's the tree pollen and there is uh, loads of pussy willow uh, flowering at the moment. And I can barely breathe, which is not great. I actually think I'm going to have to take an antihistamine, which I try not to do because even the non-drowsy ones make me really drowsy. And I've got loads of things to do. So I've got to go and service the car tomorrow. So everything that I was going to do tomorrow, I sort of have to do today. I've got my newsletter to finish off writing and send that out. And if I was going to do a spinning video for the podcast, then I would in fact be sort of uh, finishing the, the spinning I was doing, but uh, I'm not, I'm doing a dyeing video. So I've got the dyeing to finish and I have done one batch and I want to finish another one. And then I want to uh, do some, some after dyeing, some blooming. So putting what I've dyed into, um, maybe iron but I think probably copper actually to get a green uh, so that needs to be done car being serviced tomorrow and it looks like I'm gonna have to take the dog with me or bring the dog with me take the dog with me bring the dog with me bring the dog with me because uh, we just tried to do a little uh, tester to see if she would settle at my neighbor's house so that I could um, I could go without her 
because she can't really stay with Andrew and um, the person who is uh, with him while I'm away because uh, she just, um, yeah, she does not react very well to other people um, caring for Andrew. So, uh, yeah, so that, <laughs> we have tried it. It, it, it did not go well. Oh, so that's going to be a pain. So Thursday, in theory, I sit down and record the video podcast. I don't think that's going to happen. So it's going to be Friday that I do it, which means that I need to get it edited and up, which could well mean that it's going out on a Saturday again. Uh, oh dear. Yeah, <laughs> this I'm not very good at sticking to a schedule. I used to be, you know, when I kind of... Uh, had a, a a job away from the home I, I used to be very good at it but uh, yeah just kind of life happens and uh, I'm not so good at it anymore anyway I'm really enjoying just doing these little vlogs and my feeling is that I'm going to carry on doing a weekly vlog and sometimes it's going to be in the garden sometimes it's going to be out and about with the various things that I'm doing and then obviously the video podcast at the end of the week so beginning of the week vlog style video, end of the week podcast style video and in between there newsletter and get my blog post written. I'm not too precious about whether I write a blog post every week I mean that you know I, I probably maybe only write one or two a month which is is just fine and uh, maybe I'll speak about what I'm going to do about the, the, um, the website because potentially I'm going to change it. I don't know. I need to think about that. Anyway, um, yeah, so what are we? Wednesday, made the bacon yesterday. So that needs to come out next week. It's in the fridge. So I turn it every day, but it's in the fridge doing its thing. And uh, yeah, out and about walking. Oh, hay fever. Oh, hay fever is a pain. And um, hmm, yeah, I'll see you. I'll probably see you maybe a bit later on in the day and uh, yeah, share a bit of the natural dyeing I'm with you. And fingers crossed that I'll actually have something that resembles a coherent kind of story for when I'm recording the podcast. So, watch this space. <laughs> ah, anyway, I'll see you soon. It's finally stopped raining so I am going to do a few jobs in the garden. One of them is moving some snowdrops and then possibly I might even attempt a bit of weeding up there because uh, that's where I want to plant some of my dye plants. So better get on with it.
It's Thursday. I'm soaking wet. I'm waiting for the car to be serviced in the waiting room. You can probably hear the traffic noise out there. So Millie and I went for a walk and the heavens opened. I thought, I know, while the car's being serviced, I'll, um, I'll go for a walk. Um, just go around the lanes because we're in, well, we're not in Pembroke Dock, we're just outside Pembroke Dock. Yep. That didn't really work, so Millie's on my lap. I'll turn the camera around and show you. Millie's in her ugly yarn blanket. So if I make ugly yarn, or yarn I'm not very happy with, it ends up in a dog blanket. And this is her car one, which she's squirming around in. And she's got a house one as well. So there you go. If you're not quite sure what to do with your less than perfect yarn, if you've been experimenting, Make a dog blanket. Say hello, Millie. Say hello. Yeah. You're not sure about all this, are you? No. She's on guard in case people come through the front door.